because I feel we're at a critical point in time where we have a multi-dimensional crisis that needs to be addressed. And I don't think we can gain any headway in addressing that crisis under the current monetary system. Well, my name is Thomas Greco. I'm a former engineer, uh, entrepreneur, and uh, academic. But I've been working for the last 30 plus years independently as a researcher, scholar, educator, writer, uh, movement activist. I've been involved in the alternative exchange movement for more than 25 years. The fundamental flaw in the current monetary system is the fact that money is created as interest-bearing debt. So when a bank makes a loan, that's the way money gets created. And it's virtually the only way that money gets created, by banks making loans. But banks charge interest on those loans. So there's always uh, a growth in the amount of debt simply with the passage of time. But the amount of money doesn't grow automatically with the passage of time. The amount of money uh, grows only when banks make additional loans and create additional debt. So you always have this uh, deficiency that exists between the amount that's owed and the amount that's available to repay, which is an impossible situation. It's impossible for people uh, to, to, uh, to win in this game it's a negative sum game, and it's impossible for the environment to win in this game because it means that those who are in debt, and I'm talking not only about individuals but corporations as well, uh, they have to vie in the marketplace to try to get enough money to keep from going bankrupt. And in the process, they're trying to increase their production, increase their sales, and this is the, the growth imperative that results from the debt growth imperative. This is the thing that has generally been unrecognized in our money system. And if we don't solve this problem, we're gonna continue on the path to uh, debt growth and environmental destruction and increasing disparities in income and wealth and uh, more and more conflict over remaining resources. Well, we need to stop thinking of money in, in physical terms. Uh, we're conditioned to think of money as a thing, a thing that you have to acquire before you can obtain whatever you might need or want. But money is not a thing. Money is simply an information system. It's a way of keeping score in a reciprocal exchange process. Um, for example, when you go to work, your employer pays you perhaps with a direct deposit to your checking account. So now you have a, a plus number added to your account. It goes up. When you take your checkbook and your debit card and you go shopping, uh, you write checks or turn over your debit card for the things that you want to purchase, then your account goes down by the amount of the purchase price. So really, it's just an information system. And yet, the banks say, you cannot go negative on your account. If you go negative on your account, we'll call that a loan and we're going to charge you interest on it. Well, that's the problem. We can allow each other to go negative to a certain extent on our accounts and uh, not charge any interest. This will maintain uh, a stable system without the growth imperative built into it. So uh, I'm just grateful that I've been able to live long enough to see this begin to come to fruition. That uh, for a long time I felt like a, a voice crying in the wilderness. But now conditions are changing and uh, there's a heightened awareness and people are looking for answers and finding that this is a, a good approach. <laughs>